हेलो एंड वेलकम गाइस टू अपग्रेड आज के इस वीडियो में हम डिस्कस करेंगे एम्स ऋषिकेश की तरफ से जो जूनियर इंजीनियर का एग्जाम हाल ही में कंडक्ट कराया गया थर्ड अक्टूबर को जिसकी रिक्रूटमेंट 2019 में निकाली गई थी उसका फाइनली एग्जाम कंडक्ट हो चुका है आज यहां फुल डिटेल में डिस्कस करेंगे किस तरीके के क्वेश्चन आए थे किस सेक्शन से आए थे एग्जामिनेशन में टोटल टू हंड्रेड आए थे टेक्निकल क्वेश्चन की बात करें इलेक्ट्रिकल में वन आए थे और नॉन टेक्निकल में सिक्सटी क्वेश्चन आए थे नॉन टेक्निकल की बात करें ये चार सेक्शन में डिवाइडेड था पहला सेक्शन में था रीजनिंग जो 15 क्वेश्चंस थे जिसमें इंग्लिश था 15 क्वेश्चन अगेन क्वांटिटेटिव एप्टीट्यूड भी 15 क्वेश्चंस थे और जनरल अवेयरनेस एंड करंट अफेयर्स की बात करें तो वो भी 15 क्वेश्चंस पूछे गए थे टोटल 200 मार्क्स का क्वेश्चन था इच क्वेश्चन बीइंग ऑफ वन मार्क एंड नेगेटिव मार्किंग ऑफ पॉइंट मैक्सिमम मेमोरी बेस्ड क्वेश्चन डिस्कस करने की पूरी कोशिश की जाएगी अगर आप इस चैनल पर पहली बार विजिट कर रहे हैं तो चैनल को सब्सक्राइब करिएगा इस वीडियो को लाइक जरूर करिएगा तो बिना किसी देरी के आज का वीडियो शुरू करते हैं तो यहाँ देख सकते हैं सबसे पहला क्वेश्चन है विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इज द करेक्ट फॉर्मूला फॉर द आरएमएस वैल्यू ऑफ करंट यहाँ पर फॉर्मूला पूछा गया था आरएमएस वैल्यू ऑफ करंट का तो करेक्ट आंसर होगा तो जैसे कि हम सब जानते हैं आई आर एम एस इज इक्वल्स टू जीरो पॉइंट सेवन जीरो सेवन आई मैक्सिमम सो द करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन बी आई आर एम एस इज इक्वल टू जीरो पॉइंट सेवन जीरो सेवन इन टू आई मैक्स नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन पूछा गया था आर एम एस वैल्यू ऑफ अ करेंट एट आई मैक्स फाइव एम्पियर सो एज वी ऑल नो आई आर एम एस इज इक्वल्स टू जीरो पॉइंट सेवन जीरो सेवन इन टू आई मैक्सिमम यहाँ आई मैक्सिमम की वैल्यू गिवेन है दैट इज फाइव एम्पियर मल्टीप्लाई करेंगे तो वी विल गेट आई आर एम एस एज थ्री पॉइंट फाइव थ्री फाइव एम्पियर सो द करेक्ट आंसर इज थ्री पॉइंट फाइव थ्री फाइव एम्पियर्स नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन पूछा गया था वाई पी एम एम सी इंस्ट्रूमेंट स्केल इज यूनिफॉर्म पी एम एम सी परमानेंट मैगनेट मूविंग कॉयल इंस्ट्रूमेंट का स्केल यूनिफॉर्म क्यों होता है पहला ऑप्शन है ऑप्शन ए नो बिकॉज ऑफ नो हिस्टेरिस लॉस इन द इंस्ट्रूमेंट सेकेंड इज बिकॉज ऑफ यूजिंग द स्प्रिंग कंट्रोल थर्ड इज बिकॉज देर इज नो एडी करेंट एंड नो हिस्टेरिस लॉस इन द इंस्ट्रूमेंट एंड लास्टली ड्यू टू द एडी करेंट डैम्पिंग सो द करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन बी दैट इज बिकॉज ऑफ यूजिंग द स्प्रिंग कंट्रोल द पी एम एम सी इंस्ट्रूमेंट स्केल इज यूनिफॉर्म नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज द करेक्ट एप्लीकेशन ऑफ डी सी सीरीज मोटर क्वेश्चन आर वॉशिंग मशीन रोलिंग मशीन हॉइस्ट एंड सेंट्रीफ्यूगल पम्प्स सो द करेक्ट एप्लीकेशन ऑफ डी सी सीरीज मोटर इज इज हॉइस्ट क्वेश्चन सी इज द करेक्ट आंसर नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज वॉट इज द अर्थिंग फॉर द लार्ज सब स्टेशन ऑप्शन आर पॉइंट फाइव ओम वन ओम टू ओम्स एंड फाइव ओम्स द करेक्ट आंसर इज पॉइंट फाइव ओम पॉइंट फाइव ओम इज द Or think for the large substations. Next question asked was: Iron resistance is generally made up of. The options were aluminium, copper, tin, or magnesium. So usually the swamp resistance are made up of magnesium. Correct answer is magnesium. Next is in electro dynamometer type watt meter, which of the following is correct? Option A is potential coil is fixed. B both current coils are fixed. C both current coil and potential coils are fixed and D both current coils are moving so the correct answer is option B that is the both current coils are fixed both current coils are fixed in dynamometer type watt meter next is a tariff based numerical was asked as which of the following value is the economical to satisfy for the condition 1 Here the condition one is rupees fifty plus five paisa per unit, and condition two is fifteen paisa per unit. On increasing the load on a DC shunt generator, the options given are field strength increases, terminal voltage decreases, field strength decreases, armature current decreases, field strength decreases, terminal voltage decreases, armature reaction increases, armature current decreases. Correct answer is the field strength increases and the terminal voltage decreases. as the load on the generator is increased and increase in the current flow causes the voltage to drop so the excitation system senses this decrease in the voltage and hence it increases the strength of the magnetic field to return the voltage to the desired level so hence the option a is the correct answer that is field strength increases and terminal voltage decreases next question is In multiplier method, how the resistance is connected to increase the range of the instrument? In multiplier method, first of all, the resistance is connected in series of, and the value of the resistance is 
high value. So the high value of resistance is connected in series. For applying nodal analysis, the correct answer is it is option D that is KCL and Ohm's law. In a three phase induction motor, stator input is 95 watt and stator loss is 5 watt. Find the rotor copper loss. So first of all, right, we will write the formula for the rotor copper losses. The rotor copper loss we can find out by multiplying slip into rotor power input. So using this formula we will calculate the rotor copper loss. First of all we will calculate the rotor power input. So to calculate the rotor power input, rotor power input as stator input minus stator loss. Stator input minus stator loss that is 95 watt minus 5 watt that is 90 watt will be the rotor power input slip is 5 percent so to calculate the rotor copper loss slip is 0 0.05 into 90 that is 4.5 watt is the rotor copper loss the correct answer is 4.5 watt next question asked was related to varistor the flux density in a magnetic circuit is analogous to dash in the electric circuit the flux density is related to the magnetic circuit so in the same way current density is related to the electrical circuit so the correct answer is current density what is the efficiency of a full wave rectifier so the efficiency of a full wave rectifier is 81.2 percent correct answer is option c stay radian is a unit of Options are luminous flux, plane angle, luminance, solid angle. So the correct answer is solid angle. In a half wave rectifier, the output frequency is related to supply frequency as. In a half wave rectifier, output frequency is equal to the supply frequency. Output frequency is equal to the supply frequency. Both are equal. So the correct answer is option A. The common emitter configuration, the conduction or the phase shift is of it is of 180 degree for nodal analysis the correct relation is the total number of nodal equation will be given as the formula n minus 1 next question as was six bulbs each of 75 watt is connected to each other in parallel and then all connected across 110 volt supply find the current next question in a three phase fault when symmetrical fault occurs that is something question was asking about the symmetrical fault the options are LL fault, LG fault, LLG fault and triple L fault. So for the symmetrical fault, the correct answer is triple L fault. Triple L fault is the symmetrical fault. There are two types of symmetrical fault, triple L fault and triple LG fault. Both are symmetrical faults. So from the options, the symmetrical fault is triple L fault. Next question asked was, in a series adding, L equivalent is 3 Henry, L1 is 1 henry mutual induction given is 0.5 henry find the value of l2 so the formula for l series adding is l equivalent is equals to l1 plus l2 plus 2m the value for l equivalent is 3 l1 is 1 we have to find the value of l2 and m mutual induction is given as 0.5 so here l2 will be 1 henry correct answer is 1 henry synchronous condenser works at no load and leading power factor no load condition and leading power factor the power factor of the synchronous motor is leading so the correct answer is leading power factor and no load condition the transformers used in ct and pts are so in ct as we all know we use step up transformer and for pt we use step down transformers so from the given option the correct answer is option a that is CT we use step up transformer and for PT we use step down transformer respectively. Next question asked was for above 66 kV the underground cables used is options are belted cables, ST cables, oil filled cables and air cord cables. The correct answer is used is oil filled cables. Oil filled cables are generally used for the voltage above 66 kV. Next question is for a 6 pole 50 Hz frequency single phase induction motor find the rotor speed so here in this question we have to find the rotor speed first of all we will find the synchronous speed by the formula ns is equals to 120 f upon p frequency is 50 hertz number of poles is 6 so 1000 is the synchronous speed 
सो फॉर्मूला फॉर रिफाइनिंग द रोटर स्पीड इज स्लिप इज इक्वल्स टू एन एस माइनस एन आर अपॉन एन एस सो स्लिप हेयर गिवेन इज स्लिप परसेंटेज इज फाइव परसेंट सो स्लिप इज जीरो पॉइंट जीरो फाइव इन टू थाउजेंड इज इक्वल्स टू थाउजेंड माइनस एन आर सो एन आर इज रोटर स्पीड इज नाइन फिफ्टी आर पी एम सो द करेक्ट आंसर इज नाइन फिफ्टी आर पी एम नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज इन अ थ्री फेज इंडक्शन मोटर स्लिप इज टू परसेंट एंड द स्टेटर फ्रिक्वेंसी इज फिफ्टी हर्ट्स फाइंड द रोटर फ्रिक्वेंसी सो टू फाइंड द रोटर फ्रिक्वेंसी द फॉर्मूला इज रोटर फ्रिक्वेंसी इज इक्वल्स टू स्लिप इन टू स्टेटर फ्रिक्वेंसी सो हेयर द स्लिप इज टू परसेंट दैट इज जीरो पॉइंट जीरो टू इन टू स्टेटर फ्रिक्वेंसी इज फिफ्टी हर्ट्स सो द रेट रोटर फ्रिक्वेंसी विल बी वन हर्ट्स रोटर फ्रिक्वेंसी इज वन हर्ट्स करेक्ट आंसर इज वन हर्ट्स इन अ सिंक्रोनस मोटर वी कर्व इज ड्रॉन बिटवीन इट इज प्लॉटेड बिटवीन द आर्मीचर करेंट एंड द फील्ड करेंट करेक्ट ऑप्शन इज ऑप्शन ए नेक्स्ट इज इन अ सी आर ओ द फंक्शन ऑफ एक्वा डैग इज टू कलेक्ट द ऑप्शन आर प्राइमरी एमिशन इलेक्ट्रॉन्स बी सेकेंडरी एमिशन इलेक्ट्रॉन्स सी बोथ प्राइमरी एंड सेकेंडरी एमिशन इलेक्ट्रॉन्स और डी प्रोटॉन्स सो एक्वा डैग इज यूज टू कलेक्ट द सेकेंडरी एमिशन इलेक्ट्रॉन्स इन अ सी आर ओ ऑप्शन बी इज द करेक्ट आंसर नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज इन अ स्टेपर मोटर स्टेटर पोल्स इज एट रोटर पोल्स इज सिक्स दैन वी हैव टू कैलकुलेट द स्टेप एंगल फॉर्मूला फॉर कैलकुलेटिंग द स्टेपिंग एंगल इज स्टेटर पोल माइनस रोटर पोल्स अपॉन स्टेटर पोल्स इन टू रोटर पोल्स इन टू थ्री सिक्सटी डिग्री स्टेप एंगल विल बी फिफ्टीन डिग्री द करेक्ट आंसर इज फिफ्टीन डिग्री क्वेश्चन वॉज आर्स रिलेटेड टू द जेनर डायोड इन जेनर डायोड क्वेश्चन वॉज आर्स रिलेटेड टू द वोल्टेज सो एज वी ऑल नो जेनर डायोड इज अ कॉन्स्टेंट वोल्टेज सोर्स सो द करेक्ट आंसर इज जेनर डायोड इज अ कॉन्स्टेंट वोल्टेज सोर्स नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज इन अ एच वी लॉन्ग ट्रांसमिशन लाइन विच रिले इज यूज फॉर मेजर फॉल्ट प्रोटेक्शन सो इन हाई वोल्टेज लॉन्ग ट्रांसमिशन लाइन द रिले यूज इज यूजली द डिस्टेंस रिले फॉर द मेजर फॉल्ट प्रोटेक्शन करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन बी नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन आस्ट वॉज अ रिलेटेड अन्यूमेरिकल दैट इज रिलेटेड टू ऑटो ट्रांसफॉर्मर अन्यूमेरिकल ऑन एफिशियंसी ऑफ अ ट्रांसफॉर्मर वॉज आस्ट सम न्यूमेरिकल टर्म्स वर गिवेन रिलेटेड टू पावर फैक्टर द के वी रेटिंग एंड वी हैड टू कैलकुलेट द एफिशियंसी ऑफ द ट्रांसफॉर्मर सो अ क्वेश्चन रिलेटेड टू एफिशियंसी ऑफ अ ट्रांसफॉर्मर वॉज आस्ट नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज विच कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ डी सी शंट जेनरेटर गिवस वेन प्लॉटेड बिटवीन द जेनरेटेड ई एम एफ ई जी एंड द आर्मेचर करेंट ग्राफ विच इज प्लॉटेड बिटवीन द जेनरेटेड ई एम एफ एंड द आर्मेचर करेंट शोज द इंटरनल कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ अ डी सी शंट जेनरेटर नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन आस्ट वॉज विच जेनरेटर इज यूज फॉर आर्क वेल्डिंग फॉर द आर्क वेल्डिंग पर्पज वी यूज डिफरेंशियल जेनरेटर सो ऑप्शन सी डिफरेंशियल जेनरेटर इज यूज फॉर आर्क वेल्डिंग पर्पज क्वेश्चन इज इफ द रिलेटिव परमेबिलिटी इज इंक्रीज दैन द सेल्फ इंडक्टेंस फॉर्मूला फॉर फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेट्स राइट डाउन द फॉर्मूला फॉर द सेल्फ इंडक्टेंस दैट इज म्यू नॉट म्यू आर एन स्क्वायर ए बाई एल इफ द रिलेटिव परमेबिलिटी विल इंक्रीज दैन द सेल्फ इंडक्टेंस विल ऑटोमेटिकली इंक्रीज सो द करेक्ट आंसर इज इट विल इंक्रीज क्वेश्चन इज यूनिट ऑफ रजिस्टिविटी सो द फॉर्मूला फॉर रजिस्टेंस इज रो आर इज इक्वल टू रो एल बाई ए द रजिस्टिविटी इज रो इज इक्वल टू आर इन टू ए बाई एल आर रजिस्टेंस यूनिट इज ओम एरिया यूनिट इज मीटर स्क्वायर एंड लेंथ यूनिट इज मीटर सो द यूनिट ऑफ रजिस्टिविटी बिकम्स ओम मीटर करेक्ट आंसर इज यूनिट ऑफ रजिस्टिविटी इज ओम मीटर नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन आज वॉज वॉट इज द यूनिट ऑफ रिलेक्टेंस फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल यू राइट द रिलेशन तो एस इज इक्वल टू एम एम एफ बाई फाइव एम एम एफ इज एन इन टू आई by 5 the unit becomes ampere turns per weber ampere turns per weber so the correct answer is the unit of reluctance is ampere turns per weber next question asked was a numerical based on resistance formula that is r is equals to rho l by a so the next question is asked was a numerical related to dc shunt motor so different values were given we had to calculate the speed at different current value 
सो दिस क्वेश्चन वॉज आस्ट नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज न्यूमेरिकल बेस्ड ऑन फॉर्मूला दैट इज ईज इक्वल्स टू हाफ एल आई स्क्वायर इन दिस क्वेश्चन वी हैव टू कैलकुलेट द वैल्यू ऑफ ई ईज इक्वल्स यूजिंग द फॉर्मूला हाफ एल आई स्क्वायर एल इज इक्वल टू हेनरी करेंट वैल्यू इज वन एम पियर सो द ई इज इक्वल्स टू वन जूल करेक्ट आंसर इज वन जूल मूविंग ऑन टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन फाइंड द करेंट गिवेन वॉज द वैल्यू ऑफ चार्ज एंड द टाइम टी यूजिंग द फॉर्मूला आई इज इक्वल्स टू क्यू बाई टी दिस नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन अगेन वॉज आग इट वॉज रिपीटेड क्वेश्चन सो इट इज अ रिपीटेड क्वेश्चन इन द एग्जाम सो अगेन आई हैव डिस्कस हेयर सो वी कर विज प्लॉटेड बिटवीन द आर्मेचर करेंट एंड द फील्ड करेंट सो वी कर ऑफ अ सिंक्रोनस मोटर इज प्लॉटेड बिटवीन द आर्मेचर करेंट एंड द फील्ड करेंट How salient pole alternator is different from non-salient pole type alternator? So it is different as it has a shorter axial length and it has longer diameter. The salient pole alternator has shorter axial length and longer diameter. Correct option is option B. Next question is in a single phase induction motor outer cage has in a single phase induction motor outer cage has the high resistance and low reactance. So option A is the correct answer. Question asks is again a numerical based on shunt and the multiplier method. Next question asks was a numerical based on shunt and multiplier methods. Two three questions were asked related to the shunt and multiplier methods. So next question is one kilowatt is equals to one kilowatt is equals to according to the option the correct answer is option C that is three point six mega joule. Next question was. One kilowatt hour is equals to. According to the option, the correct answer is one kilowatt hour is equals to eight hundred sixty into ten to the power three calories. So one kilowatt hour is equals to eight hundred sixty into ten to the power three calories. Next, a numerical on diversity factor was asked. Next is in interconnected grid, the value of diversity factor is usually. In interconnected grid, the value of diversity factor is generally greater than one. Next question was asked related to a numerical on DC shunt generator. In this question, we had to calculate the generated EMF. All the other terms were given, such as terminal voltage, armature resistance, field resistance. So simply, we had to calculate the value of generated EMF. Next question is: In a transformer, zero voltage regulation is possible when options are lagging power factor at leading power factor it is not possible or unity power factor zero voltage regulation is possible in a transformer only at the leading power factor the correct option is option b the value of fusing current should be the value of fusing current is always more than the current rating of the fuse element more than the current rating of the fuse so the correct answer is fusing current should be more than the current rating of the fuse next question is related to the norton theorem how is the resistance connected so here in the source the rth is always connected in the parallel and the load resistance these are all connected in parallel next is the domestic voltage 240 volt ac is it is the maximum voltage rms voltage average voltage or the peak value so the correct answer is the domestic voltage which comes in our home that is 230 or 240 volt ac is the rms value voltage it is if the slip becomes negative in an induction motor then it will work as it will work as an induction generator induction motor reluctance motor or the braking motor so when the slip becomes negative the induction motor works as an induction generator so the correct answer is option a next question is in dielectric heating the working frequency range and the efficiency is so the correct answer is 10 megahertz to 50 megahertz is the frequency range of the dielectric heating and, and its efficiency is less than 65% in common base configuration input and output resistance is in common base configuration the input impedance is low and the output impedance is high so for the common base configuration input impedance is low and the output impedance is very high crystal diode works as options are inverter amplifier oscillator or rectifier so the correct answer is rectifier crystal diode works as a rectifier 
in a star connection each side being 3 ohms is converted into delta so what is the value of each side in delta connection so converting star into delta the each side the of delta will become 3 times of the star that is 9 ohms converting star to delta the formula is 3 into r that is the 3 into the value of resistance each resistance is 3 ohms then it becomes 9 ohms correct answer is 9 ohms in maxwell inductance bridge the quality factor ranges of in maxwell inductance bridge the quality factor ranges from 1 to 10 so the correct answer is option c that is between 1 to 10 next is ferromagnetic material has ferromagnetic material has high permeability and low retentivity option a is the correct answer next question is the self inductance l the options are weber turns per ampere b weber turns c weber turns per meter or d ampere turns per meter the correct formula for self inductance is n phi by i that is Weber turns per ampere. The correct option is option A. Self inductance L is equals to N phi by I that is Weber turns per ampere. Next question is MMF is equals to MMF is equals to N into I. The correct answer is ampere turns. Option A. Next question is the relay which has capability of anticipating the possibility of major faults in a transformer is. Options are differential relay. Bukho's relay, distance relay or static relay. The correct answer is Bukho's relay. Next question is, in a PMMC instrument, power ranges from? Options are 25 milliwatt to 100 milliwatt. Option B, 25 microwatt to 200 microwatt. D, C, 10 milliwatt to 100 milliwatt. Or D, 0.5 watt to 2 watt. The correct answer is option B that is 25 microvolt to 200 microvolt. The question is in PN junction diode the P terminal is connected to negative and N terminal is connected to positive. So then the diode is in. So in this condition the diode works is works as a reverse bias since the P terminal is connected to the negative side and N is connected to the positive the diode works as reverse biased. Next is the maximum efficiency of a transformer is is that the maximum efficiency of a transformer is when the variable loss is equals to the constant losses. The correct answer was the when variable loss is equals to constant loss the efficiency of the transformer is maximum. For large current and low voltage which transformer connection is preferred? Options are star star, delta delta, star delta or delta star. So Iska correct answer aap log comment section mein bataiyega. Next question is calculate the apparent power when the real power is 100 watt and reactive power is also 100 watt. So using this formula we can calculate easily the apparent power. Given is L1 is 25 Henry, L2 is 100 Henry when the coefficient of coupling is 1. So using the formula M is equals to K root L1 L2, K is equals to 1 as the coefficient of coupling L1 is 25 and L2 is 100. So taking the root of 25 and 100, the mutual inductance is 50 Henry. So the correct answer is 50 Henry. Next question is, ability of reciprocal inductance is measured in terms of options are magnetic field strength, mutual inductance, coefficient of self inductance or the analysis of magnetic hysteresis loop. So, the correct answer here is the analysis of magnetic hysteresis loop. Next question. In a disk type energy meter, the damping is provided by. In energy meter, damping is provided by eddy current. Eddy current damping is used in energy meter. Next question asked was, what is the time constant of series RC circuit? The time constant of a series RC circuit is tau is equals to R into C. Next question was, for a sinusoidal wave of 60 Hz frequency, what will be the number of cycles in 10 seconds? So, number of cycles will be 600 cycles. Correct answer is 600. 
at 50 hertz the capacitive reactance is 15 ohm and we have to calculate the capacitive reactance at 200 hertz so to calculate this the capacitive reactance is inversely proportional to the frequency using this relation here using the relation as capacitive reactance is inversely proportional to the frequency we have to calculate xc that is 50 into 15 by 200 correct answer is 3.75 ohms next question was a numerical or energy meter we have to calculate the constant k the constant k for the energy meter is rpm upon kilowatt hour all other terms were given in the question again a numerical or energy meter was to calculate in this we had to calculate the value of power p in kilowatt and and in this also all the other terms were given again using the formula k is equals to rpm upon kilowatt hour using this we had to calculate this formula we can calculate easily the power in kilowatt next is in two watt meter method if one of the watt meter reading is double than the other watt meter reading then what will be the power factor the power factor will become 0.866 the correct answer is power factor as 0.866 this is calculate the voltage regulation of a transformer at 0.8 power factor lagging as percentage rpu is 2 and percentage xpu given is 5 so formula for voltage regulation is percentage rpu drop into cos phi l and here it is the lagging the plus sign and percentage xpu sin phi l so percentage rpu is 2 cos phi is 0 0.8 then xpu is 5 and sin phi l will be 0 0.6 it will be 1.5 plus 3 that is 4.6 percent will be the voltage regulation for the transformer a voltage source of 20 volt in series with 250 ohms is equal to the current source of so here in the question a voltage source is converted into current source so to calculate the voltage the voltage source is being converted into the current source i is equals to v by r 20 by 250 that will be 80 milliampere and the resistance will be same 250 ohms but it will be connected in parallel so the current source of 80 milliampere will be connected in parallel with 250 ohms next is what is the purpose of thin joint between the section of the fusing element in hrc fuse next question is in a three phase four wire connection in ryb if r is if r is equals to 230 angle zero degree then what will be the what will be the value for b so this question was asked Lenz law the, it is the law of conservation of options are energy momentum charge or the force the Lenz law indicates it is the law of conservation of energy option a is the correct answer next question is a three phase circuit breaker is rated at 381 mva and 11 kb calculate the making capacity so the formula for the making capacity is 2.55 into braking capacity so firstly we have to calculate the braking capacity of the circuit breaker and multiplying by 2.55 will get the making capacity next question asked was again related to the auto transformer the working principle how the trans auto transformer works so a auto transformer works on both that is induction as well as conduction the options were only induction only conduction of next is induction conduction both so the correct answer was auto transformer works on both induction as well as conduction so these are the maximum technical question of electrical engineering which were asked in yesterday's exam so moving on to the non-technical portion the gs portion first of all let's see the gs portion the first question asked was the thangta is a martial art form of which a state thangta is a martial art form of manipur the correct answer is manipur next question was the first world war the first world war started in 1914 question was asking the starting year of first world war the starting year of first world war is 1914 next question is all india muslim league was established in dhaka in which year so all india muslim league was established in dhaka in 1906 in 1906 the all india muslim league was established in dhaka next question was amravati is a capital of 
Amravati is a capital of Andhra Pradesh. Question related to reasoning. So, 4. So, here the relation between the series is 4 into 2 plus 1. Again, 9 into 2 minus 2. Again, 16 into 2 plus 3. That is 16 into 2. That is 32 plus 3. That is 35. Again, 35 into 2 minus 4. That is 66. Again, 66 into 2 plus 5. Then the series becomes 137. So, the correct answer was 137. Next, next question is jumbled word. Here it is given. We have to arrange in the meaningful word which is the word vegetable. Which is the vegetable name. It will be the sixth letter of that vegetable name. So, let us arrange this jumbled word into a meaningful word. That is broccoli. It is a vegetable, a type. It is a variety of a gobi. So here the sixth letter of the word is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. It is O. So the correct answer is O. Next question asked was, English newspaper Kesari was released by Bal Gangadhar Tilak. Bal Gangadhar Tilak. So, these were the maximum memory based question of technical as well as non-technical question. If you find this video helpful, like the video, share and subscribe to the channel. We will see you in the next video. Till then, take care and bye.